grab a seat and get cozy. Make yourself comfortable because we're in for a date to die for. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. <laughs> Sucker for love. It's not Valentine's Day, but you know what I did play this last Valentine's Day? Sucker for love. First date. The dating visual novel about eldritch gods who, uh, have made it so that reality is absolutely bent to their whims, except for you, who have pervaded their dreams, and maybe somewhat perverted their dreams to the point where you only exist when they dream of you, but you always exist. I don't know, it's hard to explain. Cthulhu, you get the smoocher. Not this one, though. Just a couple of weeks ago, Akabaka Games made a demo for their next game, Sucker for Love, Date to Die For, where uh, none other than the gold grandmama herself, Roxanne, has stepped up to the plate, and uh, oh boy, oh boy, I can't, I guess I, I guess I can't wait, this is what we're doing now. Ah, <laughs> uh, something tells me, something tells me that uh, we're doing, we're doing a bit more than smooching. Uh, honestly, like, from what I've seen of, like, the Twitter of the developer, like, this game is going to be a lot more in-depth than the first Sucker for Love. Like, there's gonna be story, there's gonna be plot, there's gonna be multiple characters. Like, I think your character, the player character, who is not D from the first game, by the way, darling, dog, uh, dearest, no, 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 different character. I think they, like, are an actual character. <laughs> I don't know if they have a name, but we'll see. And uh, without further ado, let's just get into it. Let's just get into it. Even the eldritch horrors want to be waifus. Give them a smooch. Give them a smooch. They deserve it. <laughs> let's go. Now, like I said, this is only a demo. So I don't know how long it's going to be. But it Akabaka. Akabaka. But it is Dread XP. Positively spooky. About an hour gameplay wise. If that if that ends up giving us a shorter stream than usual, then that's fine. We'll we'll end a little bit early. i I went for extra long on Friday. We're gonna go for extra long these next few days, so just a nice little cozy stream, I suppose. Yeah, it took a little bit to get started. How's the audio? It might I, I can't tell. It's, I guess it's about right. <laughs> look at oh, whoa! Look at she. Wow! Let's give her a little, give her a little, get a little smooch on the smooch on the lips. <laughs> the thousand oh. versus the one. That's a little loud. It should probably be fine though. We'll see. Eldritch gods, cosmic horrors. Things beyond our understanding. To merely gaze upon their form is to abandon all hope. Ah, uh, yes. The way that every chapter starts. I missed it. They are sequestered to the stars, appearing only through challenging, failure-prone rituals and unutterable incantations. I don't know, I uttered them just fine. I will say, I hope that this isn't as difficult as the Nyan Lahotep levels from the last game. Those were fun. I never want to do them again. <laughs> they gave me so much stress. Their twisted, fanatical followers require no such invitation to commit horrors beyond belief in their stead. Thousand versus one. When do we start playing warriors? Oh, you know, it's just that kind of dating game. What? <laughs> it is then when the boogeyman lurking in the shadows is in an obscure, imperceptible shade but a tangible madman. Hmm, yes, what about the boogie woman? I'm down to boogie. That the vague prognostications of the stars become empty threats before the undeniably material. The simple hatchet in their hands. Did something scary happen? Whoa! Me! Huh? Huh? In the book you're reading, did something oh. scary happen? You're as pale as a sheet. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, no. You know, I'm just, I'm just breathtaking. What? Oh, no, no, I, uh, must have nodded off and had a bad dream. Oh. 
Um, I know this is a super weird question, but can you tell me where I am? You're in my bookstore in Sacramento. Are you lost? Oh man, is there anything like uh, San Francisco? I like Sacramento. That's a good one. <laughs> oh no, I uh, I think I know where I am now. Thanks, Sailor Venus. What are you doing here? Uh, you yeah, know, is she is she a path? Is she an option? Hmm. I don't think so. I've been having these strange dreams lately. Like, is any of this for real or not? Uh, oh, I forgot that was gonna be loud. Sorry, sorry. It's okay, I couldn't play more than that anyway. I was gonna get DMCA'd. All right, don't play any of those. Got it. I can't make sense of what they've been about, but when I wake up, my heart is pounding out of my chest and I'm not sure where I fell asleep. These dreams started happening the same time that people became vanishing from my hometown, Sacramento. Even though it's a fairly remote town with a small population, there's been dozens of disappearances in the last year alone. So many that the trains don't stop at the station anymore. Wow, this is like something right out of freaking World of Horror. Coming out this year, by the way. You're awake again, sorry. I'll have to edit that in the video. Concerned locals claim to have spotted angry woodland spirits at the edge of the woods. Animals with too many features watching them. What kind of features are we talking about? Double feature? They're playing movies out here? Drive-in? And outsiders can't shake the feeling that they're always being watched by the unblinking purple eyes of the town folk. The Sacramento stare is what they called on the news. They're saying that the stare is how they can tell if you're an outsider at a glance. If you don't have it, they know you're not one of them. What? Why is it? Because of the purple eyes? I'm just thinking of that that image somebody made. It's like, nobody. People with blue eyes. And it's just like, gigantic eyes looking at you. Oddly enough, I don't have the Sacramento stare despite being born here. And even now, after returning home, I've still been spared from it. I guess that's a good thing, maybe. It's nice that we're exploring the rest of Japanifornia. Yeah, more of the Ace Attorney world slash Ghost Trick world. So uh, right now, you know that Sissel is hopping from book to book. All these books that he can't read. Well, you know, because uh, they're just they're just too lewd. What kind of bookstore did I wander into? <laughs> Besides some lightheadedness and a dull, warm, fuzzies feeling, I don't feel any different. The girl that runs the odd bookstore also has some cursed, it seems. Um, she hasn't opened her eyes, a though. Did you find a book to your liking? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to loiter. To be honest, I don't have any money with me, but I'll, I'll come back first thing tomorrow and buy something. No, no, it's fine. I'm glad that you enjoyed reading my books. But it's starting to get dark outside. With all the disappearances lately, you'd better hurry home. Home. Even though my family fled down when the disappearances began, I'm returning to our ancestral home in Sacramento. All because of a note that I found in my apartment this morning. Ancestral home. Okay, like, I I guess with the rumors that you probably had a hard, you'd probably have a hard time selling the house. But let's be real. If it's Sacramento, if it's in the Bay Area, it doesn't matter if it's haunted. It'll still, it'll still go for a high price. Ah. Let's not get it twisted. It's in California. Like, what else do you expect? <laughs> Your mother is a little shook up from everything that's happened, so I'm taking care of her at Grand Grandma I Candy's place. I Candy's? I Candy's nuts? <laughs> if, you came... <laughs> if you came to visit, it would cheer her up and help her recovery. We've missed you so, so much, Stardust. Wow, the main character's name is Stardust. Again, not D. Or maybe it's like a nickname, but even then, that's beautiful. I like that. Where in the world is Carmen Sacramento? Not in Sacramento. Didn't expect Sacramento to be referenced. I mean, like, I, I'm liking the amount of things that are creating a Japanifornia lately. Like Big Hero 6 with San Francisco and, and Ace Attorney retroactively making it. <laughs> Like, that's my headcanon now. I want to live there. Dang. Closest thing I got is little Tokyo. The strange thing is, my parents were two of the first people to go missing. 
They were declared dead since they've been missing more than a year amidst the disappearances. Could it be they just entered a different dimension? They're here, but they're not here? This is their handwriting, and my parents are the only ones that call me Stardust. This is them, beyond a shadow of a doubt. Whatever's going on here, I can't turn my back. I need to see them again. Speaking of, I'd better get going. Thanks for letting me doze off. I promise I'll come back real soon. Thank you for stopping in. Take care. Right. Time to hurry back. Oh, look at this. Look at the vending machine. I love this place. I want to live here. Can I move here? Hey, if there's abandoned houses, I'll just I'll just squat right in. I just noticed that the pointer has like a painted nail. It actually makes it really nice to uh, point at things. I push my way through the door, leaving the warm glow of the bookstore behind as the sun sets. Who what? what? Who what? Where? <laughs> Sacramento. Overgrown now by oppressive canopies of foliage from the smell of animal musk in swampy fields. You'd think this was a barn, not a city street. I mean, big cities and barns smell the same, basically. Oh. Oh. Every surface here is plastered with posters. Many litter the ground, and every single one is of someone that was never found. Common, welcome. Thank you for the affiliate anniversary. Cool Games Inc. did a joke about an eldritch horror in California. Crossover is charm in San Diego. They predicted everything. That's why they call it Missing Person Lane now. It's where desperate out-of-towners looking for their loved ones leave posters before going missing themselves. See, the smart thing to do is you take a poster of yourself missing and you put it up so that when you go missing, somebody will look for you. That way, nobody has to set, put up posters for you. There you go, you end the chain right there. We'll meet the back to the barnyard cast. Yeah, Otis just around the corner. It's the only navigable footpath left and the most direct route to my house. I can't tell if it's the darkness playing tricks on me or what, but I'm losing my way down streets so I should know forwards and back. Wasn't I supposed to make a turn a while ago? Hey, you know, if you haven't been to your hometown in a while, sometimes that just happens. Like, all of a sudden somebody builds a, a Walmart on a formerly vacant lot and then you just don't know where to turn around it and you just get all, all twisted. I can't make heads or tails of the houses and landmarks I used as a kid to get around. It's like my whole hometown was replaced by an unfamiliar yet exact replica. We've entered the Shadow Realm. Okay, if you see your own doppelganger, whatever you do, you do not say, You're not me! Okay, calm down. If I check the note my parents wrote and compare the address number to the nearest house, I should be able to at least figure out if I'm walking the right way. This is a receipt. What does that say? Uh, chicken carry, fried chicken, cheeseburger, beer water, ketchup. I'm sorry, water costs money? Soy sauce, why did I buy soy sauce? What restaurant is this? I paid in cash? I paid in cash, this is expensive. Look, look at that, cheeseburger. Two cheese, oh, no, actually, two cheeseburger for $8 ain't bad. Oh, why did I just, or why did I order so much food? <laughs> <laughs> it's chicken night. Even the cheeseburger was a chicken. Wow. Blank grocery store receipt? What do you mean blank? What do you mean blank? When did I put this in my pocket? Where's my parents' letter? I dig through my pockets in a panic. There's no way I dropped it in the bookstore. So to where could it have... Who's charging for condiments? California. No, seriously, I, I actually ordered chicken karage today from a place that has super good yuzu dipping... yuzu mayo dipping sauce. They charge $1.30 for the sauce, but the sauce is just so good. I can't. I think they hand make it. It's yuzu -y. It's delicious. I even got a second one. Just for later, you know? Wow. Coach Lit, enjoy the lurk. Feliz aniversario de afiliación. Thank you. Muchas gracias. Yeah. If you see your doppelganger, say, tag, you're it. Let them deal with their problems. Ha <laughs> ha. You are me. You're me now. I'm not me anymore. Thank you for offering. <laughs> Look at the back, it says Maya written in blood. What? Actually, it's written in purple Grimace Shake. Oops. Chief! Chief! I told you not to go to McDonald's! There was a receipt. It has the same fold lines and dimensions as the handwritten note I had. 
Could I have? No, no, there's no way I could have misread a shopping list as an entire letter from my parents. Right? I fumble around with the note, checking the back and flipping it and turning it in a hopeless attempt to see the message again. But the receipt stays a receipt. I mean, flip it enough times, maybe it'll be like, maybe a gun will come out of it. I mean, it's happened. <laughs> Jojo, open, flip. Don't flip that paper. Gun. <laughs> that's my favorite. That's my favorite story from Jojo Part Four. Be glad it's just a receipt and not a gun. <laughs> well, something is very wrong. I turned to run. Hey, ow! Uh, are you like blind or something? Watch where you're going, Klutzarama. Sorry, ma'am. Are you from here? I slammed right into somebody coming the other way. I I'm sorry. Are you all right? I should have been more careful. Whoa. She's really pretty. Hmm. I do like I do like her tan and her little bracelet though. But what on earth is this girl doing wandering around Sacramento at night? Ma'am, it's not safe here. Don't touch me. You're the one that bumped into me. Sorry, I didn't mean to smack into you like that. I, I know it's not an excuse, but I was just in a rush. <sighs> oh yeah, I know. You gotta go run off and steal my boyfriend, right? <sighs> yeah, it's whatever. Totally cool. Save your breath. I already know how this goes. Your voice acting is a lot louder than the rest of the game. Should I should I turn it down a little bit? Wait, huh? What? Your boyfriend? Yeah. You heard me. My boyfriend. Buck is mine. I don't even know who that is, ma'am. Who the heck is Buck? Where are all these accusations coming from? I I don't know anybody named Buck. When did Barbie escape from Barbie Land? Oh, you know, she's promoting the new movie. I, I hear people are really liking the clips that are coming out of it. <laughs> and it's like super fun. I don't know if I'm going to watch it, but dang, I hope it actually is a good movie. Just just so we can say that like original stories can work. It's either what, ma'am? Huh? <laughs> really? You don't know who Buck is? Eh. Uh. I get, I'm taking it you're a local. I'm a local too. I'm a local too. Don't, don't hurt me. I'm assuming by nobody saying anything about my question is that the audio is fine. Right? You're not like from out of town, are you? The stare! It's real! It's okay. It's okay. I'm not staring at her eyes. What? I, I turn my head down and briskly walk past her. She starts walking alongside me. Hey, look at me. I am. I can't let her see my eyes. No matter what. She'll notice I don't have the Sacramento stare. You can tell me. <laughs> Are you from here or what? Ma'am, your ma'am, ma'am, your your eyeliner is running. You, you should probably go. You should probably go and uh, fix that. Probably just go to the nearest mirror. I think it's in the bathroom way at that restaurant way back there here Here's the receipt you can have it Uh, It's not painfully louder. Okay, I'll keep it like this then I Live here Do you put on the first oh, yeah? demon mask look at me really quick. Hi This is bad even I make even if I make it home. She'll know where I live What do I do? <laughs> Wait I freeze. Before I know it, I'm already staring straight at her. <laughs> Bucky, hi. Got another one for you at Missing Person Lane. Is this how they go missing? I break into a mad dash, running my hardest. Everything is a blur. My heart pounding and my ears can't dull out the sounds of whistles, shouts, and unidentifiable commotion coming from all sides. Panting and dizzy, I feel my body slowing down. Put the image of my face on the next missing person's posters, kick my legs into the action once more. No matter how far I run, the buildings refuse to change. 
The street refuses to turn, and the sounds of awakening woods refuse to abate. This is hopeless. There! There's a wide open clearing in the trees about one block ahead. If I can break line of sight from my unseen pursuers, I have a chance of finding some place to hide. As I near the turnoff, my exhaustion makes itself known. If this is a dead end or if it's too dark to find my way, I won't have the energy to turn around and start running again. Uni, welcome. Thank you for the happy affiliate. Yeah. I didn't even know it was today, but here we are. Hope you're doing well. I round the corner. It's... It's my grandma's house. Sitting alone in the middle of a clearing in the woods. Wow, wow, look, I love the decor. I love what you dump with the place. Look, I, I love this fancy uh, wallpaper. It's very natural, very organic, very good for the environment. I, 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 I'm probably carbon neutral with all this fauna, with all this flora growing on it. Like, dang, like, forget putting solar panels on your house. Putting plants on your house is the next big thing in energy. <laughs> May I believe fresh cookies? Well, you know, last time I tried to get cookies at my grandma's house, there was just like sewing equipment in the tin. So, uh, unfortunate. It's expected, though. I thought the way to my house involved multiple turns away its back, but I, I don't have time to question things as I'm already halfway up the makeshift dirt path. Sewing kit! Clearly safe. Welcome on in, no skills. Thank you for the happy affiliate. I skulk up the open lawn of my grandparents' old house. Oh, there's a butterfly trapped in the web. Oh, that's so sad. Also, is this like being seen through a TV screen? I know this has been here, but I just realized that. I skulk up the open lawn of my grandparents' old house, burst through the door, and hold the door shut for what feels like forever. No one's banging at the door. For the moment, I'm not being chased. <laughs> Uh, hey, what? I may just be standing at the entrance, but I can already tell something that feels off about my home. Where are these? Like the warm, familiar place I grew up in is gone. Long gone. I can't put my finger on it, but... This dread. Why do I feel like I need to sneak around my own home? Is someone here? My parents? Hello? I'm home. No response. Hey. Hello? I may have turned down my own volume a little bit. <laughs> whoa, hey, oh. Whoa, whoa! Oh my god, this is a lot more involved than the first game. I hope I can't, like, die. I don't want to die just exploring. Was this Persona? Persona 1? Why is there a green butterfly on the web? I mean, why not? A butterfly stuck in a web. Where's the spider? There's a lot of boots. Hey, at least we put our shoes down at the front door. I only have nine si- Nine siblings! Wow! I only have nine siblings, but I see at least 20 pairs of shoes here. You know, you gotta have extras. Oh, wait. Oh, I don't like this. Whoa. Wow, this is filthy. Somebody clean the entranceway, please. I dash out the door and flee from the house. If I can escape from Sacrament Show, I can tell everyone what's been happening. I sprint. Oh, I didn't think it would actually let me just leave. I thought this was Resident Evil 1, you know, with the dogs outside or something. Oops, well, I guess I got the, the chicken ending. I sprint back through missing person lane, unable to shake the feeling of an unseen pursuer just past the tree line. But no matter how far I run, the buildings refuse to change. Time and time again, I arrive back at my house. It's as if my house was in the middle of a non-Euclidean labyrinth. La la that's not how you spell labyrinth. That's how you spell labyrinth for Yu-Gi-Oh. As soon as I lose sight of it, I happen upon it again. Even when I, my path certainly puts distance between me and my house, I cannot get free of its strange clutches. I won't be able to escape until these darned woods are banished. I cross the threshold with rekindled determination. Oh wow, th that's new. Oh, I just didn't turn that way before. Uh... Nine siblings. Damn, you almost wish you were that active. <laughs> Can I peek through the door? 
Insert the just walk out meme. Hello? Oh, why didn't I put in the thing from... 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 Oh, I don't like this mechanic. They put in the thing from World of Horror. Something's gotta be behind the door. I just wanted to date a goat lady. You know, you know it's gonna do the thing where it's like Five Nights at Freddy's. You put down the map and all of a sudden someone's there. If it sucks, hit the bricks. Our family photos, only none of these photos have me in it. And the faces of my siblings look unfamiliar. What's with those strange symbols? Oh, there's blood in that room. Well, there do be blood in that room. I want to go to the kitchen, though. It sounds like there might be something yummy there. I hate this. I hate this. The bird gauge where my gram gram kept her finches. It's been destroyed from the inside. Did the finches escape? Or did something worse escape? I don't know, or just blood came. At least somebody tried to clean it up. <laughs> huh. We're gonna go eat some din din. How is this a dating sim? I don't understand. It's a date to die for, alright. Ooh, tea! Now I have to adopt the child ghost haunting the animatronics. Is this the plot of Five Nights at Freddy's? Is that? Oh, you know, just a meat bag. Meat. Fresh dripping meat. I should avoid counting the number of legs. Why not? Legs are the best part. The blood in the bowl is an otherworldly color. I'm a bit relieved it's not human blood, but then... What's in all these bags? Oh, it's just the new one. We're just having pork blood. It's delicious. You should try it sometime. You know, in the Philippines, we call it chocolate meat. It's the only way we get kids to eat it. The freezer? The kitchen? This is a demo. Why should I be scared of a demo? The demo should want you to play it, right? Right? I can only imagine what's in the fridge. Normal houses have horrors lurking within their fridges. Instead of a horror game that pretends to be a dating sim, it's a dating sim that pretends to be a horror game. Yeah, why am I scared? I should be aroused. Let's get aroused, just like Futurama. Unusually pungent spices. Pepper, nutmeg, ginger, and cinnamon to name a couple I see. The air is almost suffocatingly thick with their scent. Alright, I see the spices, but where are the herbs? Blade, thank you for the happy anniversary. Apparently, this is what I'm playing to celebrate it. You know what? It's kind of fitting, honestly. Considering I started my Twitch streaming career with stuff like Danganronpa. Have we really changed all that much in five years? I don't think so. What's that terrible smell coming from that fridge? I can't bear to open it. Oh, somebody left the rice in for a month again. Oh, it's happened before. We threw out the entire rice cooker that time. So sad. Eh. Oh. The more things change, the more they stay the same. I just don't like this, the sounds. The incidental sounds I hear. I have to, like, lower the volume even more. <laughs> I just don't trust it. Hey, if you want to buy Ghost Trick. Yeah, you know, maybe there's just friendly ghosts here. Maybe it's just like Ghost Trick. Go buy the Ghost Trick at the nexus.gg slash bradder if you want. Hello? Mario? What is that? I see something on the ground. Something's leaking. Just a box. Uh, no. Uh, my fear is that they've evolved on the gameplay from 
uh, Sucker for Love, Nyan Lahotep. Because that means we actually have to, like, traverse the house and, like, deal with horrors as they come. I don't like that. You finished Ghost Trick? Congrats, Blade. I had a feeling. You were getting close to the end. Oh, good. The bedroom. Yeah, you know, just your typical Airbnb. I give it a five-star rating. I mean, it could be a lot worse. Hey, you know, it's a good value. Only 70 bucks to sleep, uh, nine and a half people. Uh, I call dibs on not being the half. See, just like an Airbnb, this is where they keep all the extra sheets. Oh, look at that little cat pillow. What a mess. The closet's been ransacked, but no valuables have been taken. Little lucky cat. All right, we finally made it into the Engaba. Oh, wait, looks like the triplets' toys have been mostly untouched ever since we left in a hurry. Ooh. Ooh. You know what? I, this place is getting more cozy the more I get to walk through it. Maybe there's nothing wrong here. Maybe it's just a nice little abode. It's a little dirty, but hey, it's cozy. Uh, there was something there. Now there's not. Is this the hot spring? Ay, yeah, yeah. To bring people back to life, you have to date and smooch them four minutes before their death. I must smooch you, it's for your own good. Oh, that's what it takes, I want to stay dead. No! Upstairs. Well, if my goal is to go upstairs, how about I explore, I guess, here first? Alright, I'm gonna go through this faster because, uh, if something jumps out at me, so be it. I don't care anymore. <laughs> Tommy Roo. Open. Hello. Mario. 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 I'm heading to the TV room. I want to watch some TV. Clean up the hot springs a bit. You wouldn't mind bathing in there. Somebody summoned something in here. Great. Oh, yeah, Will. Oh, yeah. There's been stuff going on in here. Looks like somebody's been practicing their just dance moves. They even uh, outlined them on the wall so they don't forget. Yeah, that's what's happening. Going for dinner? Have a good dinner. Oh, look, somebody's watching the first game on TV. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Set in the mood, baby. Oh, I can't watch the TV. Fine. Well, how about the record player? Now? I would like a at least a little bit of music. That would help a little bit, I think. Man, this is a big house for Sacramento and for Japan. We must have been rich. Up the stairs. Is somebody taking a shower? Whoa. What is this, Plant 41? Something's not right here. Look, they got a squat toilet. I hear water. I don't see water. Did it start raining? Must be Lynetta. Oh, well, boy, let's go. Let's watch. Worth it. All right. Bedroom. Time to just hit the hay and sleep this all off. I see. 
This is not my bedroom. <laughs> okay. Somebody has plastered my kid's sibling's study room with dirty posters. For a second, I thought this was my bedroom. I gotta beat whoever did this senseless. Like, why didn't they decorate my room? Gosh. Somebody made a comic on Twitter, like, it's a, it's like a, in the vein of that, oh boy, two cakes photo. It's like one person that has a bunch of cakes, and then next to them is a person that is eating one cake, and the first person goes like, how come they get one? And I think the, the thing is like, oh man, even though I have so many cakes, I, I hate the fact that that person has one cake. And that's like a social commentary. I didn't get it at first because my interpretation, because they said the exact words, how come they get one? I thought they were angry that like they didn't get more. <laughs> so I don't know. Maybe that just shows me that that just says something about me that I interpreted as like, I need to do something about this. I need to give this person some of my extra cakes. That's where I thought that was going. Anyway, let's go meet Goat Lady, I suppose. Hello? Don't remind me of cake. I'm reminding you of cake. It's gonna happen. What the heck happened to my room? Oh, there's a cold stuff sitting around. Has someone been living here while I was away? Oh, that looks familiar. Those candles are lit, fam. Whoever did this was here recently. But who? And why? Why is Gamora? Maybe there's some kind of clue in this book? There's no title or author or anything, but it is very fancy. And it smells like overripe fruit and formaldehyde. In other words, it reeks of death. Death smells like fruit? My hands feel pruny and ice cold touching the cover, like it's drinking the life from my fingertips. Like the very material of this item is thirsty. Just like the people playing this game. Seeding the black woods, instructions on how to corrupt the soil of a forest by using offal of a goat. Offal of a goat. Dilly, you still here? And the beating heart of a human. Well, I'm safe. The beating what? I read and reread the passage, but it's plain as black and white. The beating heart of a human. I reread again and again, my disbelief washing away more and more each time. This isn't a joke. First the stare that only the locals have, then the disappearances, then the supernaturally overgrown woods, and now this book describing sacrificial rituals? The truth dawns at me. I'm in a dating sim! Sacramento has been overrun by cultists! Morir es vivir, morir es vivir. It's okay, it's okay, just suplex them. People haven't been spirited away by angry forest spirits. They've been abducted. And I'm next! I can't stop trembling. Should I hide? Is there even anywhere to hide? I, can, I certainly can ru can't run. This cultist could be anywhere. I hastily flipped through the book. Maybe there's something, anything, something, anything that I can use to escape. Then a truth dawns on me. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. Wrong the end. But just as demonic. Amidst hundreds of pages of indecipherable runes and obscene rituals, one catches my attention. Manifest the All Mother? According to this, the All Mother is supposed to be a benign eldritch entity with profane powers of life preservation. Benign? Is that. That's relative. <laughs> doki doki. Doki doki. Oh no, they're gonna use my heart! Nothing else in this book looked even remotely benign. If this book is for real, then this all-mother is my best shot at getting out of here alive. Summoning a space demon is probably a bad idea. Space! Space! But my odds couldn't get any worse than they already are. They haven't found a single person that went missing. Besides, there's still a chance that this book is fake, right? That there's an explanation for all the weirdness happening in Sacramento? Uh, clearly we're all just, uh, breathing in some space dust. We're all just hallucinating. Just like that one game that I can't say the name of or else I'd be spoiling it. I'd better hurry and do the ritual and find out. Looks like I already have everything I need to try. 
How convenient. How convenient. I'm just looking. Just looking. There's Charlie the plant. Monica would be friends. Oh, Monica would be more than friends. I found the plant, mister. At certain times in conversation, this icon will appear, and you can spray the speaker with water by right click. Huh? What? Am I gonna... What? What? Is, is Roxanne gonna be like a cat? I have to go like... Pss, pss, pss. Bad. Bad, bad goat. <laughs> this will interrupt whatever they're doing or saying. This feature was primarily included in consideration to players who dislike being hit on by older women, elders, abominations, but it has other uses too. Okay. I guess I'm never using that. What? Well, time, time to do it. Spray him. No, bad elders being. Are we gonna date mommy long legs? Ask for a friend. Oh, we're doing it coming. We're starting it now. Also, Pika, thank you for the happy affiliate. How you doing? Welcome on in. It's time to summon the goat. The G-O-A-T, baby. Objective. Perform summon the all mother. Let's look at the other ones first, though. Hmm. Spread into the minds of those who enter. Hmm. Those seeking to destroy the Blackwoods instead become compelled to worship it. What do you mean to see the Blackwoods? host planet is completely rooted cannot be exited once entered well, what am I supposed to do about it I have four heartbeats these aren't mine why, why can't I go home why can't I sleep why can't I die I can feel the roots like a thousand spiders on my skin everyone's rooted everyone's rooted where have I gone oh the woods fatten themselves on us. The dead feed the woods. The living feed the woods. Whose blood is the tree bleeding? Ew. Ew. I ate someone. Yummy. Anyway, this entity is a benign preserver of life and cannot harm you. However, no contact with Eldritch Gods is completely safe. To summon her, do the following. Douse any lit candles. Ensure there is an idol of the black goat present somewhere in the room. Do I have to get that? Have a plant mister with you. While facing a tree of the black woods, chant her name. Um. Okay. When I'm facing the tree, there's an idol. Looks like an idol of a goat. Only it has too many legs and too many eyes? It weighs a ton too. How does it get up the stairs? Summon the mama. The all mama. The alma mater? I ate someone. What continents? Apparently ketchup and soy sauce. Alright, we're facing the tree. Roxanne Selva Oscuro. It's a what? human! You dare call upon Roxanne? The all mother of the black wood? Yes. It worked? The book is for real? How did they get their hands on something like this? Amazon, apparently. The form of the black goat of the woods assails my senses. The birthplace of life and the final resting place of death. The maker and unmaker in all her undulating horror. Undulating, you say? Hmm. A vile saline ooze. Saline? Sleeps from the pores of my clenched fists as I'm overcome by an otherworldly nausea beyond reckoning. Oh, it's just sweat. <laughs> I have tolerated mortal stench upon my soil long enough. Today is the end of empty threats. Good, we can work together. All that you are, all you ever have been, shall now become mere fertilizer for my black woods. No wonder I feel like shit. The blood trapped within my distended veins quickens, surging agitatedly beneath the flesh of my cheeks. <laughs> Blushing? Your lifeblood shall soak the earth, nurturing my young as they spring Ooh. forth from the wicked soil to feed upon your ever-suffering remains for all of time! At my hands, you will die again and again and again! 
Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, sounds hot. When do we start? Why are you blushing? What? What? Does that not normally happen? <laughs> g -g 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 girl pretty! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was driving you insane! All that sweating and hyperventilating? You looked like you were going to throw up! <laughs> Whoa. Saxophone, can we get the saxophone rooster in the chat? Whee! The gold mama! She's here. Say hello to Roxanne, everybody! <laughs> Oh, that just happens when I talk to girls sometimes. What? What? Foolish mortal! <laughs> Your impudence has made me very, very... <gasps> oh, forget it. What is it this time? Torture again? Yes, please. What? Why did you catch your cult mate with someone else and now you want me to pretend to be your mommy to comfort you? Cult mate? Torture? I think I've been confused for someone else. Again. Out with it. You probably only have a few more moments before your lust breaks your will, so make it quick. I'm sorry, I have a Twitch TOS to follow. Huh? I feel fine. I mean, she's drop-dead gorgeous and I feel like my heart is beating out of my chest, but I don't feel like my will's breaking or anything. Not any more than usual. <laughs> I am the goddess of fertility, the physical manifestation of perverse desires. And you are standing two feet away from me at the very epicenter of my carnal influence. And you're telling me you don't feel a thing. Hmm, that's my secret, Cap. I'm always hungry. <laughs> I mean, I think you're really beautiful. And that's all? You think I'm just beautiful? <laughs> Come closer and take a deep <laughs> breath in. I had the option to do the water sprayer. Nah, left click. A warm floral scent washes over my senses. I feel lightheaded for a moment before it abates. <sighs> Do you hear that? Breathing. It's the most beautiful sound a living thing can make. Although I am I'm curious what happens if I do the right click. She seemed happy there for a moment before her warmness froze over once more. Well. Right. <laughs> <sighs> what? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> this is a real low point. A goddess of lust getting rejected by her own cultist in her own dream. Um, I don't know if this makes it worse or not, but I'm actually not anybody's cultist. What did you say? I like the, I like the multiple eyes, but like each one gives a different expression. Like surprise, but also just she's done with this. I mean, sorry, I I summoned you because my life is in danger, and I thought maybe you'd be able to help me somehow? Suddenly, she lifts my chin and pulls my face close Your to hers. Eyes. You... You're not under my influence. You're not one of them. But I am from here. How did you get this book? Uh, I found it. What do you mean? I just... I just found it on the floor. Listen to me. You are in grave, grave danger. The Thousand doesn't know you're here yet. They will be coming for you. You've got nowhere to run. Yeah, that's that's why I'm here. You won't be able to escape. Not while I'm still rooted here. Any road you walk will lead straight back here. I've noticed. Man, if this is a demo, where does it end? You need to do the rituals in that book in order. Ending with a spell that will uproot me from this location. Once I've been uprooted, you'll be able to run for it and hope for the best. What's going on in the background there? Is there like teeth? Don't let anything happen to the book. If you lose it before I'm uprooted, you'll have no way out. No, don't tell me this is gonna be like the Nyan La Hotep. This is gonna be stressful. A chill is running up my spine. Run for it. No way out. Brave danger. So what have I gotten myself into? Am I scaring you? I know it's a lot, but you have no choice if we're ever going to escape from Sacramento. You know where this is. Wait a minute. Did I just hear something right? Hold on. It sounds like you're trying to escape too. Things have gotten... messy with my cultists. Messy in a bad way, I mean. Oh. My followers have turned against me, 
and are abusing me and my woods' power to kill outsiders indiscriminately. Well, that just ain't right. This is a nightmare that I'd just like to end. But neither of us can leave without the uprooting ritual being performed. Sounds like I am the one who can do but it. I should warn you. These incantations and rituals can be terrifying for a non-cultist to perform. Even successfully completing them can have grave consequences. Mm. You know what? I've had a hand on I've had a mouth on my hand. What's worse than that? These rituals will test your metal in ways that I'll do it. What? Really? <laughs> You're just okay with what I'm saying. I am. If there's a way out of this, just tell me how and I'll do it. Are you sure? So many people have gone missing in Sacramento. I'm not letting the same happen to either of us. Not today. Let's not waste any time. Start with the spawn partner ritual first. You'll need it. The spawn what? What kind of partner? Like a lab partner? A, like a lab partner, right? Oh boy. I can read. I can't read that. Having a hand in your mouth sounds worse. Well, I just have a mouth in my hand. That's from spooching my hand too much. What? Damn. Spawn partner. Light the ritual candles. The color of the flame does not matter, so please choose a color you find comforting. Have your choice of an aromatic herb on your person. Pick a scent you find pleasant. Why am I supposed to get that? Imagine your ideal partner. If it exists, it will appear before you. If it does not exist, it will be created. Do not imagine something you can't put back. Oh, uh, where am I supposed to get an herb? I don't have an herb. Lavender. That's an herb. Uh, light. Make it blue. I like blue. Okay, I'm imagining. I'm imagining. I'm imagining. Baranagia Megap. Golvia. Whoa! I just saw the rock hand again! <laughs> oh my. Hi! Wait! I, I can explain! <laughs> Go ahead. I got nothing. One will be created, right? <laughs> There's no need to be bashful. Especially after all that time you spent playing Koi. Imagine if it summoned a darling, though. Eh, it doesn't, doesn't seem like uh, Stardust is into that. <laughs> Sounds like Stardust is, uh, uh, wrote for the goat. In view of the circumstances, perhaps I will allow you to be my partner. In crime, right? In crime. The crime of love. What? Really? And that's okay with you? Even though we just met? Well, it's sudden, and it'll be a long, long time before I could ever trust a human again. Just a little chicken in the corner playing saxophone, don't you worry about it. But, I'm not exactly the god of taking things slow. Besides, I already have a thousand children. <laughs> There's no harm in a thousand and one. Okay, but who's gonna carry the child? <laughs> Wait, what are we talking about? Taking me as your partner? I thought we were just gonna be my persona. I am thou art I. I thought you were just talking about being my girlfriend. You thought... You thought the two definitions of partners that a fertility goddess was referring to the platonic meaning? Maybe? There's three meanings of partners. Like Mario and Luigi, partners in time. What's the third? Cowboys. Why are you still joking around while standing so close to me? You should be melting with desire! Being anywhere within a mile of me should amplify your lust a thousandfold! Yeehaw! Apparently a thousand times zero is still zero. Oh, that's... that's an easy one! A thousand times zero is zero! Okay, don't tell me. Don't tell me! <laughs> We've made a dating sim where the main character is asexual. I'm sorry, that's hilarious. That's awesome. That makes so much sense. Why has nobody done this? Wait, are you saying what I think you're saying? Yep. So, I take it you haven't had children yet? Yet? Nope. And you, you aren't with child now? No. You're going to die here, 
and there's nothing I can do to help. Was I supposed to be? What? You're really not going to help me just because I don't have kids? It's not that I won't. It's that I can't. Mm. I am an entity of untapped cosmic potential. And I want a big family. The biggest family possible. I want every living thing on Earth to be a direct descendant of me or one of my followers. I mean... Well, you just go go back to the first game. Go get D. <laughs> He'll be more than happy to help. <laughs> Those that best serve that goal receive a fraction of my power. Gene pool. Gene pool. Those cursed genes, brother. My most devoted followers are bestowed with gifts like extended lifespans, rapid healing, physical enhancement. Enhancing what? And in some cases, immortality. And those followers are the ones looking for you. Oh no. You, on the other hand, have closed yourself off to my dark influence and are mortal and vulnerable. No kids, no powers. No, egg. Well, I see we've retained the smooch meter from the first game. That's a good sign. What if I don't want powers or kids? <laughs> Use it to fertilize my wicked soil into something that will give me grandchildren comes crawling out. Yeah, you're supposed to be benign. Stop that. I'll take an involuntary. I take an involuntary step backwards. <gasps> I'm sorry. You didn't deserve that. Are you alright? Die. Don't die. I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Let's move on to the next ritual so we can get out of here, okay? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Holy moly, that was freaking scary. She's really taking this hard. I better go get the stuff for the next ritual. Oh. Oh no. Hmm. Hmm. Da da da. Just checking something real quick. Just checking something real quick. Oh, here we go. I didn't realize that sound alerts had to be uh, lowered separately. That was loud. All right. Well, at the very least, it looks like we got a little bit of something similar. Look, Epicurean Feast. We get to have food. Cool, now I don't need to eat any people. Which is good, because people have been eating my kind for generations. A dating sim. We're playing at the hardest option. Thank you. The hardest option. Well, I mean, aren't you supposed to be playing in the hardest you can? Wait, what? Collect the following. Meat from a living thing that died within the black woods. Check the meat rack in the dining room. Milk of the... Milk of the black goat. She is store-bought 2% is apparently fine, too. It's in the fridge. But... But... <laughs> But, fine, TOS. Lastly, a receptacle filled to the brim with liquid life. Blood, they meant blood. Please use blood from now on. Sorry. <laughs> Chant while facing red fire candles. All right. Meat, milk, blood. Why am I supposed to get that? I've been eating my kind for now, for how long? I am what I eat. Oh look, Stardust. So, these followers are kind of like jealous ex-boyfriends, then. You want nothing to do with them, but they won't let you leave? Actually, yes. That's precisely right. They're like my exes. And using the same metaphor, if you try to date me, then my exes will hack you to death with farm tools. Sounds fun. I guess that last part wasn't a metaphor. Well, maybe I should get back to the rituals, That's then. That's probably a good idea. I'm willing to take that risk. <laughs> okay. These herbs are enormous. At least ten times larger than normal. How the heck did they get this big? I need meat. I need milk. I'm not sure where I'm going to get blood, though. I haven't seen blood anywhere. I'm assuming the game will just, uh, provide me with that, I suppose. So what, is it... 
Am I gonna like find people just wandering the hallways and I'm gonna have to like, avoid them maybe? I don't wanna get farmville. Hey, maybe that everybody's back on the meta platform now now Farmville's gonna get big again. When's the last time y'all checked on your Farmville farms? You never know. Don't butcher the ritual. I might ruin the moment. This is the moment. I wanna get some food. I need some meat. And the meat will taste good. Never made one. Easy. It can't be this easy. I tear a hunk of meat from the hook. This should be what I'm looking for. It smells kind of strange. Is this beef? Pork? Chicken. Whatever it came from, it was huge. That looks like... Cross section of human leg. I should move on before I count the number of legs hanging on hooks. Mm. I can't. I can't. The Dr. Seuss Deli. The green ham and eggs. Strawberry milk. Ooh. Anybody got the Blade Mancer emote? This is the milk of the black goat? It just looks like a regular card in a store bought strawberry milk. With a label slapped on it. Yeah, milk. I guess the cultists would have a hard time getting the real thing from Roxanne now that their relationship is soured. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> the real thing. It should be good enough. Nobody called for strawberry milk. Where do I get the blood? Oh, it's from the. Oh no. Right, it was also in the kitchen. It was also in the dining room. You were expecting the two percent. A receptacle filled to the brim with liquid life. Blood scoop! An unsettling amount of it. This is what the ritual calls for? Now the recipe. We're making the new one, fam. A chill just ran up my spine. No. No, please, no. Am I being watched? I have everything I need. I need to get out of here fast. What does that mean? What does that mean? What does that mean? I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. Why, why is there a chill? I don't like the chill. 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 I'm going back. I'm in the room. I'm in the room. I'm in the room. That is the fastest I have gone. That is the fastest I have gone into this room. I have everything uh while facing the red kind of say Oh well done. Looks like you did everything perfectly. Impressive. Thank you. I worked hard on it. Look at this steak. It's not a mistake. No milk in your goddess goat girlfriend, please. Save that for the second date. What? Milk! I'm glad that he's frozen in here and we're out there and I'm in the room and I just remembered Where's Roxanne? There's that chicken playing the saxophone again. Keep it going Nothing to it. If all the rituals are this easy, we might just get out of here <laughs> Perhaps so. I, um I don't want to leave things as they are between us Your life is your own. I'm sorry for losing my composure Oh, that? I nearly forgot about that already. I'm a little surprised the little god, a literal god, would bother apologizing to a human at all. I've given it some thought. And while you may be blasphemously abstinent, blasphemously? you're the only person in the world that can help me. Yeah, I didn't expect Roxanne to just be this nice. After hearing about her from Lynetta, like she's the All Mother. Like, you'd think she'd be relentless in her goal. I guess she's got all the time in the world. She just wants help right now. You see, if you step within range of my woods, 
Any desire you have that will lead you closer to me is amplified to such an intense degree that it's unbearable. And most of the time, it's lust. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. After I got the ingredients, I wanted to get back here as soon as possible. Hold on! Anyone who is led here seeking carnal or animalistic pleasures develops the Sacramento Stare and becomes a cultist. I'm glad that the name for it is unified. If you are brought into my woods for any other reason, you don't become one of my chosen thousand, and your desire will make you futilely search the woods for what isn't there. Oh, yo, what are we playing? We're playing, uh, the goat right here. The goat mama. You'll forget to eat and sleep. And you'll search and search until you die of exhaustion and become fertilizer for the woods to grow further. Yeah, we're just becoming fertilizer. I've always wanted to be that. Wow. You're the only person to reach me without joining the cult or dropping dead. Thanks in no small part to the fact that you don't have lust to amplify. Damn. Damn. Imagine if D did get in here, though. Don't quote me on that. The character for the first name. His name is D. <laughs> A, the, the, this is this is like the premise to like an anime, but not like that kind of anime. Just the lust, the, the goddess of lust being best friends with a completely asexual person. Wow. You're sure there's a lot of fertilization desire going on. What? what? My only question is, if you're not here for lust, why are you here? Oh, you know, I just wanted to come back to my house to pick up my video games. I have a mint condition copy of Dragon Quest Aiden here. I pulled the receipt out of my pocket. I came here for some chicken carry. <laughs> I came uh. looking for my parents. This used to be a handwritten letter from them saying they were here in this house. But once I got here, it turned into a blank receipt and won't turn back. The woods have indeed toyed with your emotions to bring you here. That paper was likely never a letter from your parents. But the woods made you believe it was. I'm sorry. You were telling me I paid $51 for fried chicken? It better have been good. Why are we here? Just to suffer? So, they, they really aren't still alive? They were likely consumed by my woods no more than three days after they disappeared. Shit. I feel like I've been punched in the gut. The dust has long settled on my parents being gone, but the grief never faded. Eat. It'll give you your strength back. The woods won't let you feel how tired you are. I don't feel tired at all, but come to think of it, I felt like I was going to collapse when I made it to this house. I don't think I've eaten since I got the letter, either. I took a few bites, and... The tears of bait. Why? Oh, this is just a fancy little spread. I don't think we're eating off plates. I think I'm just, like, grabbing the leg steak in my hands, like... <laughs> I don't even think we have wine glasses either. I'm probably just drinking from the bowl. There, there. It'll be all right, Stardust. How do you know my name? Stardust? How do you know my parents' nickname for me? Anything that dies within my Blackwoods becomes a part of it. A part of me. Their love for you likely lives on in me. I'm not sure how to feel about that. Hmm. I guess that settles it. My parents really are gone. That's the only way she could know that name. That's outright terrifying, but I feel strangely comforted that part of them is still here somewhere. I'm sorry, but your parents are in another goat. Um, I hope this isn't an offensive question, but how come this book said you were benign? All the missing people and the people that came looking for them, you... you ate them? It was never supposed to be like this. I came bearing gifts of safe childbirth for infant and mother, hungerlessness, disease immunity. Wait, that sounds awesome. What happened? But instead, my own worshippers tormented me until it broke my heart. Now my woods are bloodthirsty, and I'm forced to watch innumerable die. No! But why? How could somebody do something like that? How can somebody have so much hate in their hearts? Hearts? Because it's had an eternity to accumulate. What was that? It sounded like something breaking downstairs. Uh, I don't want to... You, you, Roxanne, you go check. Are they coming? Already? No, 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 no! Am I safe in here? I forgot. Roxanne is just as scared as I am. I need to be more careful with showing fear for her sake. 
It could just be the house. The place is old and rotten in some places, so sometimes the house shifts on its own. You know what? That's scary in a different way. I'll check it out. No, I won't. What am I doing? It sounded like it came from the kitchen. Wait, is that it? No! Another episode of Sucker for Love at Date to Die For is coming up. That's it! That's it! No! <laughs> I was ready. I wasn't ready. You know what? It's probably better this way. That I I can I can I can have some time for this game to come out, and then we'll just uh, <laughs> I'll be able to steal my metal, metal my steel. <laughs> we got goaded, fam. Kaboosh! <laughs> Thanks for playing. You're telling me we don't even get a smoochy? Zero out of ten game. I, I want my money back. This is a demo. I didn't pay anything. But still, though. Hey, you know what? That's fair enough. If y'all want to, y'all want to see a more full experience, a more full-bodied experience, go check out my my stream of Sucker for Love first date on the uh, YouTube channel. I played through all three routes of that game, and uh, you know what? You know what? Maybe I will play this as well. <laughs> I will. I definitely will play this one. We'll see. Hopefully it comes out before uh, Valentine's Day 2024. But until then, hey, at least we had dinner with the goat mama. That's it. This is, I can't click out of this. This is all this is. Maybe it ends when the song ends. Oh well. Oh well. I guess we're ending the stream right now. <laughs> she was a goat. I was making cow puns. And you, you you didn't think that people were gonna capitalize on the vitamins and minerals from Tears of the Kingdom? My goodness. They're not even goats in that game. They're dragons. It's all the same. I want my money back. I want my mommy back. What? What? Okay. Well, I... Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. And also, the implication is that the implication is that Deborah left. <laughs> uh, I, I had said that if we end up ending early, then so be it. So be it. We'll end stream. This was gonna be a short one, just just to get my rest on, y'all. The bit, the rest of the, the stream week will be all Yakuza Zero all the time. But uh, whenever this game comes out for real, you know. You know we'll be, uh, getting a little smoochy smoochy. Getting some of that goat milk. Hmm, I hear it's good for you. Anyway. Anyway. Uh, let's just go find somebody to raid. Now that I've ended early, I get to find somebody to raid that I usually don't. So, uh, thanks for coming on, everybody. I hope this was... I hope this was fun. <laughs> I love the premise, though. Like, that's hilarious. I had heard about it. I didn't like know exactly what was like the the premise, but just main character in a visual novel dating sim being asexual is just such a concept. I how has nobody come up with this before? They probably have. But how many can you say have you helping out the goat mama of all time? <laughs> all right, we'll check it out when it officially releases. But that's it for today. No stream tomorrow, as usual, and I'll see you again on Wednesday, as usual. If you haven't already, follow me on Twitch to catch me live next time I play this or any other game. Links are in the chat for the threads, the YouTube, the Discord, all that good stuff. And if you're going to sleep, have a good night and stay clucky, y'all. Stay clucky, y'all. Don't do that other thing. Unless you want to, but then don't do it. All right. Y'all notice it, right? Y'all notice it? Come on, I worked hard on this Photoshop. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I'm not keeping that. It's only for today. I'm returning it to the store. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, copy that raid message. We'll find somebody to raid. Uh, have a good night. Stay clucky. Bye-bye! I can't return used goods. I didn't use it! Somebody else did. I bought it used. <laughs>